all of a sudden this phone call rings and it's John Irwin and he's like, I've got this, this great film for you. We would love to have you. Could you please read it and let us know? And I go driving home on the 405 that's not fast, but, um, <laughs> but I get there and there's this beautiful printout of the script that I'm holding in my hand. And it was the first thing that God just really great gave me with October baby. And it was the picture of Rachel Hendricks. And my husband looked at her and he said, wow, you know, this, this girl could be your daughter. And God just started this process and he really got to me and he gave me all of these different moments where he showed me my little girl. I got to meet her and he heard my cry again. And he showed me in that also a moment of these, uh, just a sea of women's faces. And he really spoke to me saying, this isn't about you, this is about them. And in 2010, I, when this, I didn't know, you know, I got onto set a few months later and I started shooting and I walk in and here's the glorious gift of standing and looking Rachel Hendricks in the eyes and going, this is what my little girl would look like, all grown up. And then all of a sudden I walk into the next scene and here's this note. And as believers, you know, we know the power of the living word that, that, that Christ has died for our sins and we have been forgiven. But to see it written, I can't even tell you what that meant in that moment. And Christ, he just met me there. And in that moment that when people see this, that was not acting. That was me sitting in the lap of my Savior and Him cradling me and saying, you have been forgiven. Mm. And the last scene of it was this, this, I go in and I sit down with my husband because I have to share with him that this is something I've done. And that also had happened in my life. You know, six, seven years into my marriage, I had to share with this very godly man that I, another thing in my life that had occurred. And so it was just this moment of all of these healings, you know, and now here we are in this place where the movie's been released. And what I'm seeing is that men and women all over the United States, all over the world are being touched by a film of Absolutely. forgiveness yeah. and hope and that it's okay. We don't have to be captivated by this. And life is so precious. I want us to see that, that moment that she's referring to and the forgiveness that was extended to the person who had tried to abort the baby that it didn't die. Uh, let's watch it. What was going on inside when you saw that? Didn't because that looked like you moved beyond acting right there. What happened? You know that was um, that was just that was my moment. Um, Christ was just there with me. 
he was just standing there, and he just put his arms around me. And, and really, I, it was that moment that I just sat there on the floor with him, and he just cradled me, and he held me, and it was just that moment he just said to me, you've been forgiven. It's done. It's over. And, you know, to have something in 20 years of your life to, to be in this moment where God just so meets you there, and just this peace, to have that restoration and just to feel that power of love was the most incredible moment. And I sat there for probably 15 minutes. The set was quiet when we were done and I was mourning my loss of my little girl. And the, the, our wardrobe stylist came over and she had just had a baby and she sat and held me. And we just sat there and she rejoiced in hers and I mourned in mine, but rejoiced in knowing that she was with in heaven.